Well, hello everybody. Bet you didn't expect to see me. I had a quick check on my YouTube uh, uploads and I noticed I hadn't actually done a video for about three, no, two months, is it? Yeah, I think it's really because I'm kind of focusing on my TikTok account, really more than anything, even though I have no idea what I'm doing there. So I thought, you know what? Let's upload a video onto my actual YouTube channel so you can see what I've picked up and what I've done in the two months since you last saw me on YouTube. So let's get on with it, shall we? Hi everyone, it's Jody Paul here. Welcome back to Magpie Movies or the Magpie or whatever iteration of the YouTube channel I've decided to call it this time. It's been through so many different changes. I have no idea what it's called now, but we'll just go with the Magpie. So yes, yeah, so as you can see here, uh, I'm now filming this, as I said last time, we used to be up here, but now because my daughter's up there, I'm now down here. So this is the Man Cave movie room, music room now, I guess I suppose you could call it. Uh, so yes, so it's been two months since my last video. As I said in the intro, I've been very much concentrating on doing more music stuff and more TikTok. Uh, and also in my last video, I said I'm more concentrating on getting back into my music, getting back into listening to, going to live gigs and things. Um, still obviously watching movies and TV shows as such. Not as many pickups as usual. I'm now just concentrating on, uh, I can't see, where is it? Uh, vinyl records now getting more of those so i thought you know what let's do a little roundup of what things i've been getting i suppose so before i do as you can probably tell from my last video uh the wall over here was kind of barren and empty so if i do a quick spin of the camera and i'll show you so i'll do move it up so you can see i've now got my hives poster up here and this was a beatles one but i moved up the two oasis ones here i've got a signed embrace vinyl here and a signed uh eva one here uh these ones i think were here before uh if i move across here so this is when i met eva so that's a picture that the photographer did for me uh in peterborough when i went to see them and this one is when i met them in newcastle this was here before i think as well these were all noel gallagher lyrics but this one here is now the set list from that gig in Newcastle and the plectrum is from that gig in Peterborough if that makes sense and then that's a picture of me and Faye who was a drummer out of Eva uh what else have we got here anything else I can show uh got a sticker here as part of the pack that came with it uh but the future post is still there uh oh get the uh, but then I've put my Beatles one up there Fight Club is there St. James is at the top, and of course, over there, I've got my Prometheus. So that's a little spin. Oh, I've got a picture of me and the wife here as well. Uh, and then that's the record player. Uh, TV, obviously, is here. Yeah, so, oh, random Pepsi can there. Need to get rid of that, put it in recycling. But yeah, so yeah, so shall we now go through what I've been picking up? Do you want to go on movies or music first? Um, let's go movies because we have I've predominantly been doing um music a lot recently, so I'll show you the movies that I've picked up and shall I? So I've had a quick look on my movie shelf here of what I've picked up. I actually thought I picked up more than I had, clearly not. So we'll go through them. Uh, so finally picked up God in the Galaxy Volume 3 with the slip. So there you can go. So I'm just I'm just gonna go through these. You, you know what the discs look like because people have seen them before. So Guardian Galaxy Volume 3. Uh, I picked up the uh Wonka. Really impressed with this. I'm not, I know you're gonna slate me with this, but I'm not a big fan of the um Gene Wilder original, but I really enjoyed this. Another one of those films where I thought I was gonna go in and watch it and thought it'd be rubbish. Really liked it. So picked up the steelbook of that one. Um, then also picked up Equalizer 3, not the best of the trilogy, by all means I think this is the weakest, but of course got to collect them all, haven't you? Well you don't have to collect them all, but I do like the trilogy, this is just the weakest of them all. So that's uh, Equalizer 3 with Denzel. Uh, 
And then finally, finally, he says, he picked up uh, his film, my favourite film of 2023, which is The Creator. Uh, yep, yeah, this one, of course, comes with the shiny slip, which I'm very happy with. So, yep, so we have The Creator. Uh, Pre-ordered this and this came in. Aliens. Um, what more can you say about this film other than it's brilliant? I haven't actually put this um, in the player yet to watch it. Um, because I've got a Dolby Atmos soundbar now and this isn't Dolby Atmos and it is, it's in Vision and Atmos I'm going to wait till the kids and the wife are out and watch that one all by myself with the music and soundbar for Weld so yes, there's Aliens The Abyss, Central, uh, Rich, um, Hollyoak picked this up for me because my, my YOHD account didn't work for some reason I don't know why, it gets to the, add to the cart and you got to pay for it and it just doesn't let you do it so he picked this up this I've changed the, the cover around so it's the original. So yes, so we have the Abyss. I already added the digital code onto my Apple iTunes, so now I'll have it on 4K on there as well as on disc. Uh, to complete the um, Conjuring universe, I haven't yet to see this. Pick the Blu-ray up of this one, not the 4K. The rest I've got on Blu-ray, so it's pointless getting them all on 4K. Um, so yes, so that's the Numb 2. Get to watch it. I haven't heard the best, but I'll give it a go. Uh, pleasant surprise. Thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed Thanksgiving. Really good film. If you like your slashes, your screams and things like that, I would highly recommend you give this a go. Very good. I know I'm probably late to the party because everybody's seen it now and obviously I'm just getting around to showing you that I picked it up, but I did pick up Thanksgiving. Uh, 4K release, I think is only in Germany or import um, from the US, but yes, so I picked it up. There we go. Um... Disappointed because the other two of these ones have got a 4K release, but I picked up Horton in Venice to complete the trilogy of the uh, Hercule Poirot, Al Agatha Christie, um, Kenneth Branagh trilogy. Uh, this one is weird because it's, I don't know, it's a weird case, but yeah, no artwork on that one. But yeah, so that's that one. And then finally, as I, as I kind of came onto it earlier on, um, I think it was a few, I can't remember now, but I've got like um, Dolby soundbar now, so I've got an Atmos soundbar now, which I never used to have. So I picked up from Spain, Amazon Spain, Gravity. Now the reason I picked this one up is because if we can see here, I don't know if you can see here, but this is the Dolby Atmos version. Can you see it? Put it in the camera, Paul. Where's the camera? There it is. There you go. Dolby Atmos. Yeah, it even says so on the back of here as well. So I thought, I already got this on uh, Blu-ray and Blu-ray 3D, but I wanted to hear what it sounded like on Atmos, so I picked that up. So that's it. So those here, or these here, or this lot, there we go. So in three, two, two and a half months, I picked those up, those up sorry. So yeah, there's not much more. I mean, I picked up some music um, DVDs, which you might be interested in. <laughs> Picked up uh, Embrace's uh, Glorious Day Live in Leeds, which is where I got that oh, that poster from. And I picked up Embrace Live in Mallorca. Yeah, those, and did I pick any other music ones up? Oh, I picked up a couple of Stone Roses ones uh, and The Beatles Hard Day's Night, but I wouldn't keen to class them as movies, so I didn't really chuck them in here. So yeah, so five minutes worth of movies there, and I'll show you what I picked up music-wise next. So if you're still with me for the journey, you'll see that in a bit. Okay, everybody. So now we're in the music section. Uh, so I'm going to go through what I've been picking up. Majority of them are vinyls, some CDs. Uh, and as I said earlier on in the video, I'm very much primarily more going towards listening, getting back into music and live music and going to see gigs, etc. and so on. So I'll go through that first. So recently, as you could probably see here, which you can't because of the... <laughs> <laughs> the ring light, is I've been getting more and more into a band called Eva, double -E uh, which consists of guitarist uh, Rick McNamara, who is a member of Embrace, and uh, Nicole Hope-Smith as the singer, so a two-piece, but when they go on tour, uh, they get a session drummer, in this case there was a girl called Faye, so I went to see them both in Newcastle and in Peterborough, and when I went down to Peterborough I met other fans and stayed over there. So whilst I was there, uh, I'll show you. I'll show you a few things first. So, when I went to see them in Newcastle, I um I met they'll, they'll meet you afterwards. So, uh, I got a picture taken with them by my friend. And when I went to Peterborough, as you can see, it got signed by three of them. Although there's only Rick and Nicole in that picture. 
This also has Faye's signature on it. And then when I went to Peterborough, uh, I got the photographer who they took on too with them to take a picture. So I got that as well. So there you can see, so there's Rick, there's me, obviously, there's Nicole and there's Faye. So that there is normally up on the wall round about here, but I've took it down to show you that picture there, which is also my Facebook profile picture, if you see me on Facebook. And then additionally, because I didn't get one in Peterborough, uh, sorry, Newcastle, then I picked up and I got a, a selfie with Faye. So there you go. So that's in um, uh, Peterborough. So also with regards to go moving on to the music, uh, they did a vinyl, which as you can see here, which uh, was signed by Rick and Nicole when you buy it online at the website, but I got Faye to complete the set by signing it. And I think I took this to Newcastle to get that signed. And this one is a, see, a white vinyl. And to go with this, he says as he's trying to put it away, there we go. So this is just an EP. This is so this is a four track EP. And to go with this, I also picked up I picked it up on um the CD at the gig as well. Um you could only buy them at the gig at the time. You can get them online now, and this again is just another oh, four track CD. Let's pick that up. Uh, so yes. So that's all the Eva stuff I picked up. Uh, I'll go through the vinyls now. So I picked up Tom Spade's, I think, third album, which is called Love and Light. Um, there we go. This is, I got this, he supported Embrace recently. I saw him there and I thought well, I'll pick up his vinyl as well. So I picked that up, as you can see. Um, a few quick ones I'll go through. I picked up the Beatles' White Album. <laughs> you can't really see much, but it does see the Beatles on there, as you can probably see. That was a tenor. And then I got three for 30 on three other Beatles. So I picked up Rubber Soul with the Beatles and A Hard Day's Night. So those ones as well to go towards the Beatles vinyl collection. And then I also picked up Stone Roses, one of my all-time favorite albums. This is the clear vinyl edition, he says, as he's trying to show you. There you go, see so clear vinyl. I love this album. It's, it's an iconic indie album. And then I also picked up Liam Gallagher, Down by the River Thames album. Uh, which comes with a poster uh, and this one what color is this one on is this on the color yeah so this one's on a um that kind of color vinyl so there you go put that on there but if you see my tiktok whenever i get a new vinyl i always upload um post it on there so there you go so that's uh, down by the river thames and then i also picked up uh liam gallagher's nebeth live one just a big gatefold as well. This one's coloured as well. These, this is the, I think this is the yellow or gold one. So I picked that one up, and then picked up John Squire and Liam Gallagher's. This is the um, zoetrope. I'll show you what zoetrope means. The zoetrope basically means that the images look like that, but when you play it and you put it through your phone camera with a certain app, then it will have like a moving picture. Next up, picked up Noel Gallagher's Back the Way We Came, um, kind of volume on best of, double one. These are just, just normal black vinyl, nothing on the back. So there's that one. Uh, then on Record Store Day from 2012, this was reissued. This is the Lex Hives album. This one is a gatefold as well, but this one only comes with the album, but it also comes with uh, a live album from New York, which is on pink. So there's that one, uh, and this one here also got reissued. Uh, this is now sold out, which is of course quite well double price already. So this is the black and white album, and funnily enough, this album's black. This vinyl is black and white as well. So that is the Hives black and white album. Yeah, hard to get a hold of this now because it was reissued. Uh, and then finally, I also picked up Embrace. Uh, Best of Life from Sour Dreams that I recorded during lockdown. This is a three LP. Comes out different colored vinyl. One's white, one's clear, and one's greeny blue. So that's that. And then additionally to that, I picked up the CD signed by the band. There you go. Which is the same. This is two CDs as opposed to vinyl. And there ends my music vinyl record pickups. So that's it. 
that's it. I hope I haven't bored anybody to death with regards to going on what I picked up. As you can see, as I said multiple times, yeah, I'm heading more towards music, as you can see here. It's more music as opposed to in the, when I was upstairs, it was more very much kind of long um, movie posters and things like that. I mean, don't get me wrong, if you look here, I still do have all my movies. Uh, I'm just obviously now collecting more towards music. Uh, yeah, so I have got some gigs lined up uh, in July. I'm going to Leeds to see Embrace. And then in October, I'm going to see... Uh, no, all right. I'm going to see Experiment 637, uh, the keyboard player of Embrace, that's his band. He's the one who sent me some of Pre's video, the Out of Nothing album. Uh, and then I'm going to see Embrace again in November, and then I'm going to see Cast in October. I think October is Cast and Experiment 637, but I know that they're playing Darlington. So I messaged Mickey and I was like, oh, I've got tickets. And he's like, all right, see you there. I was like, yeah, great, I'll get you a drink to say thank you. Um, but that's it. So yeah, even the wife says to me, she has no idea what gigs I'm going to because she can't keep up because I'm not going to that few more um yeah that's it really um trying to think of anything else no that's it so thank you very much for watching um if you're a subscriber thank you if you're new to the channel and you enjoy what i've just done here even though i don't upload that often uh then hit us a subscribe hit subscribe hit me a subscription uh give the video a thumbs up but that's all of the usual jazz was i want to move away from none of this uh, if you like what you see, look, uh, look like, share, and subscribe. I'm moving away from that because I don't really do YouTube anymore. Uh, hit me, hit me, 1K subscribers. Happy with that. Uh, but yeah, you can find me on TikTok. Look up Jordy Paul seventy eight. I'll be on there. Uh, I'm trying to get to a thousand subs there. Maybe do a live. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But yeah, other than that, thanks very much for watching. Uh, this is the Magpie, Jordy Paul. Uh, sign off, and I'll see you on my next video. But I've got no idea when that will be. But yes, anyway, that's it. Cheers. Thanks. Bye for now.